especially now with the buzz around, you know, videos like um, the deepfake Tom Cruise going viral. And then we also saw the deepfake Queen giving the Christmas message, right? I thought we could kick off with talking about what is deepfake, face swap, face reenactment, cheap right. fake, shallow fake. So can you just <laughs> tell us what these are and what's yeah. deepfake? That's the fun of modern existence, right? Different terms are created by different people. So uh, the term deepfake probably has caught on the most because it's kind of an interesting phrase. It's very catchy. When it first was coined by a sort of set of pranksters created those images, a video, there were two kind of puns to it. One was that, hey, this is a fake image created using deep learning. So what is deep learning? Deep learning is the name given to one approach to machine learning, which uh, uses neural networks. And neural networks have been around for many decades. They were around when we were, I was a graduate student, and we used to laugh at them, saying they kind of really don't do anything interesting. But theoretically, they were of interest. And there were folks who worked on them, kept persisting, and we reached a point where we had enough computing capability to create neural networks that had many layers. So typically a neural network was uh, you input some vector and then there is a middle input layer, there's a middle layer, there's an output layer, and then there are these neurons which sort of mimic how the neurons in the brain are connected. And based on the inputs, these uh, all the connections have some weights and some output values created. And based on the output value, they would say, yep, yes or no, right? So for example, the simplest examples in those very early days was if I give you, say, the temperature, the pressure, uh, whether it's cloudy or not, or three or four features as input, I want you, you to be, uh, I want the neural network to predict whether it'll rain or not. Yeah, so I think ultimately the solution is uh, has to come in various forms, not just the tools to de for detecting, but also education about the manipulative yeah. power and also yeah. a more proactive approach to ensure that the integrity of the photos and images are there. Thank you very much, Professor, for your time today. Sure. And sure. I have a lot more questions, but maybe sure. we will have to reschedule another podcast to dive into some of these technologies a bit more. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>